Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. Hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Leo. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment, share the content. If that's what you feel like doing, I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. Let's call in your angels and guides. Spirit and source energy for you, Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. Guidance for Leo. This reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Your energy, Leo, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Have the energy work hard. It says life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So some of you may be energy healers or studying energy work or researching it in some capacity. This is a life purpose. This is the, a service energy that is incredibly powerful for your purpose right now, Leo. So any kind of exchange with another that's happening in your day-to-day -day life and it's your energy going out and energy coming back in toward you, that's what this card is touching on, whether it is energy work specific or not. So very powerful connective energy here. I am seeing a strong connective energy to spirit and source energy. So some of you may be working with that divine energy. You may be receiving treatment for your mind, for your emotions or physically this week. And if you are seeking healing in any of these ways, Spirit is confirming with this card that you will have an energy boost. There will be an electrifying, powerful, positive force that will come out of this treatment, out of this uh, newness, because it does feel like it's a new energy that's coming into your life. It's a vital energy. It's uplifting. It's a really nice energy coming through. I am getting the message for you, Leo. That things are going to come together in the best way for you. So I love that. Let's take a look at your next card. Mindful wisdom. Create inner harmony. It's important not to be thrown off balance this week, Leo. Creating inner harmony. So no matter what the circumstances or events that are happening externally in your environment, in your workplace, home life, within friendships, your day to day dealings. If you're centered within, then it doesn't matter what's happening out, outside. There is a strong sense of wisdom. So they're showing me wisdom from past energy, wisdom from past lives even, wisdom from deep within that you hold within you. It's going to come into your consciousness, something that has been in your unconscious, something that's been there. It's definitely been there, but it hasn't come out into your consciousness yet. But it will. It's going to make an appearance in some way, shape or form this week, Leo. So that's very exciting and it's going to help bring Harmony and balance into your life. This beautiful energy of strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look at the gifts in this situation. 
That's so important. So important, Leo, to look at the gifts in the situation. Look at the blessings that are around you. Look to the silver lining of this situation. It may be a relationship that you're struggling with, or it may be internal struggles that are going on mentally or emotionally. It may be a workplace drama or a family frustration. No matter what it is, look at the silver lining here. You are going to make it to the other side. Remember, things come together in the best way for you this week, Leo. You have strength and fortitude and courage to draw upon. Beautiful. Yes, we have abundance coming in for you. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. So that's the spiritual energy and the material energy. So the spiritual is coming down to manifest in the material. So your intentions, your manifestations that you've wanted to bring into reality, it's coming into fruition. Your abundance is coming in. Something is coming to fruition and it's very, very positive. A lot of something you've been waiting for is just around the corner. Very much ties into the energy of things coming together for you in the best way, Leo. That's what's happening here and Spirit is confirming that with this card. I love that. Let's take a look at this card here. Yes, this is the High Priestess and this is the inner wisdom very much tied to this card the beautiful owl energy you may like to focus on a ritual you may like to focus on meditation you may like to focus on what's going on intuitively with you focus in on that it's going to give you guidance if you have to or you're wanting to make changes in your life this week and looking ahead draw from your intuition because that's going to, I feel, bring through some pearls of wisdom that you may not be thinking of consciously, but you're able to bring it up from the depths of your subconscious this week, Leo. This can also mean that you're being very patient with someone or a situation. I can see that. You may be at a distance as well. So you may be looking at someone or, or something in your life this week. Going to be different for everybody, of course. In a different way. In maybe more of an objective way. Taking a step back. This also may be education and deep research into something. So if you are studying, this week is going to be amazing for retention of knowledge. The moon energy, there may be a Pisces around you. The moon energy is about cycles. You're moving on from lack into abundance. I love that. This can also mean confusion and things that are hidden very much in line with the high priestess can mean that there's someone guarding some information or some hidden knowledge that's going to come out. It's to do with that research, the education, doing with deep inner wisdom as well so that's going to come up you may be looking at your shadow side as well page of wands energy this may be a child or a youth or someone younger than you that you are dealing with or that is taking center stage this week in your life this is also you looking out into the world looking out into this week with enthusiasm with joy in your heart with a new beginning a new step taking the first step with something or a new beginning coming in baby steps into something new make sure that you don't do this leo restrict yourself mentally and creatively because you're going to need that this week that's what spirit is telling me the state of swords is about restriction and telling me that it may be easy for you to fall into an old pattern of restricting yourself mentally. Um, you're wanting to expand your horizons. So really look at that energy if it comes in. We have the Ace of Wands. A new passion, a new beginning. Very similar to 
the Page of Wands, very similar. An opportunity may be granted to you. Someone's going to ask you to participate in something new. Overall, a very good reading for you, Leo. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.